overwhelmed. Um, that is truly a story of my life. Um, every day is a battle for me um, just to get up and face the world. Um, I have anxiety issues. Had it pretty much all my life since I could remember really from being a kid. For those of you who don't know, my oldest son um, was diagnosed with autism. And at first, like at such a young age, you don't really know what that's going to entail. But then as life goes on, you start to figure out all the uh, unique challenges that kind of comes with it. I had 20 years of just one thing happening after another, and God just took me one step at a time, one day at a time. Panic attacks really hit me strongest they've ever been um, to the point that I was I could not leave my house um, the, the thought of going outside and actually physically going to the front door um, right away my heart rate would jump up sweaty palms vertigo um, just intense 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 fear um, that I just I had no control over my wife being a teacher she sees kids day in day out she sees kids that may be a little worse off but um, when your own child is as far behind or as far off of normal, um, it can be difficult, especially when society has a tendency to toss those sorts of people off the side, those people that slip through the cracks and the side just leaves behind. I had made it through my marriage falling apart, my raising the girls on my own and losing a daughter and taking care of her children and having another daughter go to prison. It was like, God check, God check, God check. He took me through it all. And then when everything was said and done, it was 20 years later, and all these feelings that I thought I dealt with started rising up in me and going through my head, and all of a sudden I was the one that was overwhelmed and it didn't make sense to me. I remember walking up to my daughter's room. I was home alone. And I just, I dropped to my knees, literally dropped to my knees by her window, just looking out the window and just wailing, literally wailing at the top of my lungs, just, God, take this from me because I, I, I'm done. I, I can't, I can't live like this. I can't do it. I can't do it on my own anymore. You have to take it from me. I just beg for God to send you a message. Sometimes you, you're looking for answers that probably won't come. When I finally decided, hey, God, you're in control. One day at a time, we can do this too, is when I finally started living again. Jesus is writing the end of my story. As a family, the end of our story is still being written. Jesus is writing the end of my story.